let's begin um, dividing whole numbers and as we get started with this just like we've done with you know so many of the others we're going to start with vocabulary so we need to understand that whenever we divide things when we read this division problem we read it as 10 divided by 5 equals 2 well this 10 or the first item has a very special name and that is dividend then what you are dividing by is the divisor and then your answer is called the quotient it is very important to understand you know what part each one plays because this is the first way pretty much that we ever learned division it was written in this format but then as we got up and we started working larger and larger division problems we started writing it in this form this like house top sort of format this is the second way actually to write a division problem but our items still have the exact same terminology the number underneath that little house top um, is still called the dividend the number on the outside or what you're dividing by is still called the divisor and your answer there is still called the quotient now there's actually a third way to write division problems and that is as a fraction so here we have this division problem because that's all really that a fraction is is just a kind of a compact way of writing a division problem this literally says 10 divided by 5 equals 2 and our numbers are still even though they're in a different position they still have the exact same terminology this 10 is still called the dividend the 5 is still called the divisor oops I didn't spell that so nicely there and our 2 is still called our quotient so no matter what form they're in you still need to know exactly what the proper terminology is for each position alright let's practice uh, writing division problems all three ways so that we know we could you know switch things around okay here we have a problem that they've already given us and it's already worked out this says 36 divided by 9 is 4 well if we were to write that out um, the very first way we ever saw division problems we would write it out as 36 divided by 9 equals 4 now if we write it as in sort of fractional form we would need to write it as 36 divided by 9 equals 4 now I realize that, that sounds um, probably a little silly as you first get into it uh, but what you really want to understand is I've seen so many times where students are given something that looks like this in a fractional form and they'll turn it around and put the wrong number in the housetop which will completely throw off your division so you do need to be able to move seamlessly between the three different versions